Good afternoon, Ravens, and welcome back to ONW Now. I'm Jacob Guernsey. And I'm Tessa Hunt. This week, we take a look back at the Senior Sunrise, a special feature on the Selfie Boutique, and a recap on Raven Athletics. Let's get it started. Last Friday, our senior class gathered together early in the morning to celebrate the start of their final year of high school. This tradition started last year and will hopefully continue for years to come. Let's send it to Rachel Hyde and Nikki Warner for the recap. Friday, the seniors watched the sunrise to start off their last year at ONW. Um, senior sunrise is a way to bring the senior class together to kind of kick off the school year so we can kind of be a senior community and get the year off to a good start. The seniors bonded together with some donuts. Yeah, so this year there wasn't much of a sunrise, except it was a lot of fun for everyone to come together and just hang out before school. I mean, no one typically does that. Seniors want to embrace the memories they have spent here for the past few years as they watch the sunrise and collaborate with others. It was really the idea of getting everybody together and it turned out really well. This has been Nikki Warner alongside Rachel Hyde, now back to the desk. Kansas City attraction that draws teens has gotten a lot of attention from high school students around the area. Let's send it to Addison Smith, Sarah Miguel, and Paige Gerstner for the story. Hey Ravens, we're here bringing you guys a new segment where we try out things around the area and tell you guys if it's worth it. So we're here at the KC Selfie Boutique. Let's get right into the episode of the Raven Review. The Selfie Boutique is an immersive creative space where photographers, artists, and people of all types join together to take pictures. Whether to update your Instagram, take senior portraits, or just to add unique selfies to your collection, the Selfie Boutique is sure to offer something for all levels of camera expertise. Their goal is to bring friends together for a good time and give them the ability to express themselves in each unique photo shoot area. I would recommend people coming here because it's a very fun place. There's a lot of great energy and it's a place where you can get out of your comfort zone and kind of jump out of your shell and have a lot of fun with friends. The Selfie Boutique offers a lot of photo shoot options. They have several awesome setups for pictures. They have a cool toned balloon wall, a ball pit to dive right into some cool pictures, a pink balloon cave, crazy pattern walls to add something special to your Insta, and several more photo shoot areas that are very unique and different. With a total of seven different setups for pictures, this boutique is a great and convenient way to grab several pictures in different spots. I'd recommend coming here if you have any interest in photography or if you just have an Instagram account. Um, it just has really cool stuff that's really hard to find anywhere else all in one location. Because if you were to find some of these sets anywhere else, it would be that one set and that one set alone. Um, but it's all conveniently in one place here, which is really nice. We decided to explore the environment for ourselves and grab a couple pictures while we were at it. We loved how everything was all in one spot and all you needed was to grab a phone or camera and snap some cool shots. I think that the Selfie Boutique is an amazing environment with tons of different people that come together in the love of like art and photography. If you like taking pictures, it's an amazing place for good lighting and cool backgrounds. After visiting the boutique, we had some suggestions to make the place even better. We think if the boutique added just a few more photo setups, it would make the place a lot more fun and add some variety since you're paying $15. With this said, everyone should definitely check out this boutique and gather their own thoughts. So with this said, we decided to give the KC Selfie Boutique four out of five zucks. Thanks for tuning in to the first edition of the Raven Review. For Sarah Miguel and Paige Gerstner, this has been Addison Smith. As another school year begins, many are thinking about plans for college after they leave Olathe Northwest. The counselors are included in this group and have a set up a college readiness program with meetings tailored to all students Let's take it to Rosie Boswell to give us the scoop. Many students at Olathe Northwest have started thinking about their plans for college. I've enrolled in K-State. I'm just waiting to hear back. i um, doing ACT prep and taking the ACT this year. I've done a little bit of AVID and it kind of helps you prepare for college. For grad and then hopefully like uh, somewhere out east coast for postgrad. But our counselors are already one step ahead, having prepared a college readiness program for all students. Really, even our freshmen have pieces of college readiness that they're working toward, whether it be um, working on their grades and keeping up good grades or taking harder classes or just trying to start figuring out where they want to go to college. And the college readiness program is helpful for all students in a multitude of ways. You know, really, it, it's your future. For each individual student, they're going to have their own story and own path that they're following. And these are for you, for all of our students here, to just go and, and figure that out. So we can help guide you and answer as many questions about your process 
as we can and we want to do that, but ultimately it is your process. And building those relationships with your college admissions representatives is really important. And it is just, it's a process and there's a lot of information out there and it's um, just the best way for you to get what you need. There are multiple meetings for college readiness tailored to different students' needs. For more information, stop by Student Services. For o &W Now, this has been Rosie Boswell. Now back to the desk. Let's send it over to Game Day Northwest for a look at O&W Sports. Welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Katie Parks alongside Quentin Talbert. Today we have updates on your favorite fall sports from the past week. The Lady Ravens gymnastics team was flipping out Wednesday night as they opened up their season at Shawnee Mission Northwest. The ladies battled out against the Cougars, Olathe West, Olathe East, and DeSoto. Hallie Robertson took third place in the floor exercise. Check out Raven Daily website for more results and highlights from the meet. The volleyball team on the, was back on the road Tuesday night to celebrate Lindsay Heller's birthday and to participate in the try at Shawnee Mission Northwest. The evening started out a little rough as the girls dropped their opening match against the Gardner Edgerton Jailblazers. Didn't the Trailblazers realize they were spoiling Lindsay's birthday bash? But the Lady Ravens bounced back in the nightcap to beat defeating the Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest. In the three games, the girls are back to in action tonight at 6 p.m. at Shawnee Mission South. The boys soccer team played Park Hill South last Thursday in the 38th Olathe Tournament. In the first game, the Ravens shredded the Panthers 3-1. Owen W. got goals from Gabriel James, Brock Baker, and Chase Kluzman. In the championship game, the Ravens faced off against Ray Peck, goals from Dylan Cooper, Tanner Schinkel, Chase Kluzman, and Gabriel Hummus led the Ravens to a 4-1 victory to become the champions of the 38th Olathe Tournament. Wednesday, the Ravens soccer team took a hard loss versus Washburn Rule, dropping their record to 2-2. Two two. Junior forwards Gabriel Hummus scored the first and only goal for the Ravens, but the Blues came back strong and tied the game 1-1 before half. Scoreless in the second half for the, both teams, the game went into overtime and unfortunately the Ravens dropped a tough one to Blues 2-1. to one. The boys' next game is Tuesday against Shawnee Mission South at Seaback at 7. The girls' golf team teed off Tuesday at Milburn Country Club leading the Ravens was Victoria Klosner. With a score of 85, placing 5th, the girls' team placed 7th overall. Their next tournament is the 19th at Overland Park Golf Course. The cross country team competed in their first meet last Thursday at JCCC. The girls team finished third overall, led by Lydia McLaughlin, Leah Wellman, and Ashton Dade, placing third, fifth, and 11th individually. On the boys' side, they placed fifth as a team. Top finishers include Andrew Tracy, Brian Kitter, and Logan Reed, placing 22nd, 23rd, and 27th. The cross country team competes next at ODAC for the Twilight Meet this Saturday. The Raven football team squared off against the Manhattan Indians last Friday playing in front of their home crowd. The Indians came out energized and controlled most of the game. The Ravens got their first touchdown of the season when Bryce Johnson snuck into the end zone in the fourth quarter. The final score was 42-7. Owen W's next game is against Olathe South Friday night at Seaback at 7. That's it for your sports update. Now back to the desk. Have you ever watched a sport on TV and thought you'd like to try it out? Well, our football players Ryan Andrew and Mason Sadler, along with golfers Julia Klein and Molly Gonzalez, got to try out new sports this week on our first episode of Raven Reversal. Let's take it to Shelby Orton to check it out. Putting the helmet on? <laughs> yeah, they're putting the helmet on. <laughs> You better have headlights. Oh, I definitely do. Oh, it's sweaty. Oh, my gosh. It's wet. <laughs> Ready, set, go. I'm fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> that hurt. No. Ball, 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 get on it! I need to get the ball. No. <laughs> I thought you had it running. That's what speed do. <laughs> I'm not going down. It doesn't help. Now, now. 
actually getting out on the course and playing we did 10 times better we could maybe work on our aggressiveness yeah but I think we could be football players <laughs> thanks for tuning in Ravens be sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven daily and keep up to date with our new and improved website at ONW.ravens.net slash Raven daily to read all the latest Raven news for Jacob Guernsey and Landon Daniel this has been Tessa Hunt we'll see you next week